Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Tommy Kendi. I'm your host at the BS Machine. And welcome. This is episode number 80. And it's an honor to be here with you guys listening. And um, yeah, I mean, just wherever you're listening, whether you're on podcast app on Apple or Spotify or Google or bloody YouTube, if you're watching my face as I'm as I'm uh, talking to on, to you on this podcast, it's it's really an honour to be here with you. And on this episode number eighty, we are discussing how do we manage our energy. And if you are listening to this now, the then you'll see all the all the spiritual people, all the spiritual leaders, and and um, everyone that's involved in energy has been sort of talking a lot about. Um, there's this whole shift in energy that's that's rolling on at the moment, which is all around the Mercury retrograde, and and there's uh, full moons, and there's all sorts of interesting stuff going on, which apparently shifts our uh, energy and, and shifts things in the world. Now, um, I mean, look, at the end of the day, I'm not one that um, goes on about full moons and half moons and this and that, uh, because to be honest, I just haven't really ever looked into it. And uh, these Mercury retrogrades and eclipses and all that, I haven't really dived into it properly. But I do know, I mean, to be honest, it does make a it does make a shift when, especially around full moon time. Like I always, I always definitely notice stuff going on, uh, especially around. The full moon and even though I used to be you know into Reiki and and I used to be a Reiki practitioner who and I was seeing you know three four sometimes five people a day so I know a lot about energy because I did it for like you know four or five years where I was constantly moving and shifting energy around people's bodies and and I can really feel um, how that sort of impacts our life. But what I'm also talking about in this uh, in this episode is how do we actually manage our energy? Uh, and, and the reason that um, that sort of came up for me was <clears throat> that... Um, wait, I've got a frog in my throat. I'm going to get it out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Is that... Um, oh, do you know when people do that, sometimes I feel sick. So I'm sorry if that made you feel... It wasn't like a massive greeny or anything i just had a little <laughs> i just had a little bit but it wasn't that bad so just in case you're trying to picture it and it makes you sick i'm sorry don't turn it off yet because i've got some really cool stuff to talk about um but yeah when we're talking about managing our energy there was a um as many of you know whether you've been to my classes or whether you just know from me talking about it i practice and teach uh yoga quite a lot well, I don't teach quite a lot, but I practice quite a lot. I teach maybe four or five classes a week because I absolutely love it. But tonight I taught a, a yoga class and there was maybe 50 or so people in this yoga class and it was a yin class. And um, and I really noticed the energy of the room as people walked in. I really noticed the energy of the room when we first started the practice. And there's this always this moment in um, in any yoga class, whether you're practicing or teaching, where you feel the whole room arrive within the room. And tonight it was 50 souls, 50 human beings in that room. And it was absolutely chockers. And can you imagine 50 people coming out of their uh, day uh, at the end of the day and and landing on a mat and and you know all different experiences have happened all different thoughts all different things have happened and they all just landed within the room and and when you first in a yoga room and there's 50 people that have come in with different experiences some are happy some are sad you know some are going through breakups in relationships some have maybe had a windfall with money you don't know like everyone's had different experiences but it really it feels like when there's a bunch of people in a room first off where it, it's just like it feels a, a very scattered like there's it, it, it takes a lot to draw the energy into a room to really feel energetically what's going on in a room and this will really relate to you in in a little bit but um what uh especially i mean if you don't practice yoga this will relate to you in in a little bit so you don't have to practice yoga to understand this podcast or know about energy or reiki or any of that type of stuff and so um and then what happens is is that 
when all these people come into a room, I'm basically up the front because I was leading the room and guiding the room through their practice. It was a yin, yin practice. And all I do for the first sort of two or three minutes is I ask people to close their eyes and just breathe. And as soon as that happens, you immediately feel a shift within the room. You immediately feel a shift. And it, it, it's like everyone lands. And there's always this moment where the whole room lands within their body. They take the focus inward. And the funny thing is, is that even if someone comes in totally scattered, they will be affected and they will be uh, taken on a journey if the whole room has d- turned inward and they've decided to focus on the breath and take their energy inward and their focus inward then the person or two or three or even five people that come into the room that are totally scattered and have, a, have had a shitty day it totally changes their energy and so it's this whole co-creation of things that happen and, and so as you move through a yoga class, especially a yin class, which is super chilled, you literally just, it's pretty much dark and there's candles and, and it's a really yummy uh, experience to, to, and it's chilled, like you're not breaking a sweat, it's just everyone's just chilling out. And so, so as you move through a 60 minute practice, you really do notice how incredible it is when more than one person especially 50 people turn their attention inward oh man it's so beautiful to be in that space and what i acknowledged and observed and even noticed tonight is that as you shift the energy of a room that will start to make changes within or outside that room and to the point where people could even walk past without even knowing anything about yoga. And as they walk past the yoga studio, they'll suddenly feel a sense of calm, a sense of belonging, a sense of being connected to their, to their mind, being connected to their body, being connected to their soul, and connecting those three different areas, the body, mind, and spirit, or soul. And so it was a really beautiful moment to experience that. But what that brought to me and and what that sort of uh, that experience asked me to reflect on is how do how do we actually manage our energy? Because quite a, quite often where we live our days and things happen, situations happen, conversations happen, people happen that come into our path and because of those things that are happening whether they're good whether they're bad they affect our energy levels and they affect whether we can stay true to that intention of just being who we are you know experiencing what we want to experience but then you know that also uh, asks us to to look at the fact you you can't always experience what you want to experience you're going to have to at some point get used to the fact that shit will just happen in life that you don't like and it's like in those moments how do we how do we manage manage our energy how do we take pretty much control over what's happening within within our own space and our energy whether you believe in auras or or you know energy centers like chakras or chakras uh, whether you believe in those things or not is irrelevant because they just exist. And these auras, that w- which is basically a blanket of energy around the body, these really dictate how we get to experience our life, how we get to experience our emotions, how we get to experience our thoughts. And there's never really any question around um you know whether thoughts are real or whether emotions are real because we all feel those things but then it comes to this thing of of observing thoughts or observing feelings and, and emotions and then sitting there going well are these actually mine or do they just move through me do i own these emotions do i own these thoughts or are they just are they just moving through me and then do I 
should I just allow these emotions, good or bad thoughts, good or bad, just to move through me and, and to be able to observe those thoughts and emotions as they, as they move through? And then once we do that, if we can start to observe them, then you, you sort of come back to this point of what is it that, that I can do to raise my energy up and what it or, or to manage my energy because even a lot of people including me some weeks I mean I'm, I'm pretty good at managing my uh my weeks and energy and whatever else but but some weeks I'm so fucking busy that I I'm like I've got yoga class I've got clients I've got this I've got that I've got group this and whatever and and i'm like wow oh my god what, what about me like i'm i feel like i'm just a slave like walking around aimlessly and and helping people and doing people and whatever and i, I start to sort of forget about my own energy and and what and filling my own cup up and filling things up for me and doing things that i want to do you know for me no one else but just me and that's where the, the, this this opportunity comes in to really notice your own energy i mean what's what's happening like even right now as you're listening to this podcast how 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 are you feeling are you just listening to this and because it's like you listen to the bs machine every week and and yeah i've got to get my my um you know (laughs) tommy's podcast in or are you listening attentively where you're like maybe taking notes or you're remembering things that come at you as i'm as i'm chatting to you and and jotting things down i mean how are you how are you managing yourself right now like what's actually going on within you what's what's coming up for you what's you know maybe maybe you're sitting there going this podcast do i don't like this one this is a, a shit podcast and i'm not resonating or maybe you're going oh my god tom yes i need to learn how to manage my energy so when we talk about managing our energy what we're actually talking about is being able to be of service and, and being able to honour your own path through your own life, but also realising that the way that you react or the way that you experience certain situations, it's not just about you. You can affect so many people and, and so many, like, it's bigger than what you fucking know. And I'm not, I'm not saying this as a hero or anything, but... But I'm saying this as, a, as an opportunity to really acknowledge how powerful we are. So let me give you an example. Let's just say, for an example, you're in a shit, shit mood, right? And, and you're in a crappy mood and, um, and your, your, your friend comes or your best mate comes over. Or no, let's say you're in a crap mood. No, let's say friend, yeah. And your friend comes over or you see your friend somewhere. And you, you're just in a shitty mood and, and your friend comes in and she's like, oh, you know, I'm, um, I'm, uh, <laughs> if you heard that sneeze, that was my, that was Nick, my girlfriend downstairs. So let's, uh, let's give her a gesundheit. Um, but, um, but yeah, so if you, if you your, your mate comes over and she's, yeah, she's, or you're in a shit mood and she comes over and, and, and she, she's there, but she's in a great mood. But being around you, you're just sitting there going, oh, I've had the worst day. This isn't working out. That's not working out. And you basically just end up whinging and carrying on about how shit your life is, how shit your day is to, to a friend. And then your friend's like, oh, I don't know why, but I feel like shit. So she leaves. She's totally drained. And she goes on to her, you know, goes on to one of her friends and, and then goes, oh, I don't know why, but I feel like shit. And then passes it on and then keeps, gets, just keeps passing on, right? And and so before you know it, just by you having a shit day and you not learning how to manage your energy, not I'm not saying you specifically, I'm just saying you in general, which includes me as well, it um it, it can really mess with a lot of a lot of people. And so that's why it's so important to take responsibility for what's going on um, within our you know, emotional being, our physical being, and, and really taking ownership over what's going on. Because if you're relentless in feeling like shit, or you're relentless in carrying on uh, and, and, and 
yapping on about the same bullshit that you've been carrying on about for months, years, maybe even lifetimes, who knows, and and you're constantly going on about it, it's really going to affect not just your own energy, you need to take responsibility for others as well. And, and that's the thing, if you're not feeling in a positive light, and if you're not feeling like you're actually progressing, and you're not feeling like you're moving forward, all your energy centers are going to be constricted. They're going to be going in, 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 constricted, where what will ultimately unfold is you will have zero energy to give to yourself. And that's the number one. You've got to be able to learn how to give back to yourself. Everyone else is absolutely irrelevant until you learn how to fill up your own cup, how to give yourself energy, how to inject energy. And you know what, in this sense, it is. It's like you need to learn how to do things that fill fill up your cup. And it's, it's you know, I don't often talk about being positive and being negative. That's not what this is about. But in this situation, it is. You, you have to do things that will um, give, give like positivity or, or let's, I'm not going to use positivity because I'm, I, I frown upon that, that language because it, it just sounds fake to me. It's like, just be positive. It's like, nah, do you know what? It's not as easy as that. You've got to choose shit. You've got to choose to be, um, on a high vibration. Let's call it that when you up, when you lift up your vibration, this, the moment that you start to focus on things that are, are good for you, and that bring you joy, bring you happiness, bring you laughter. When you start to focus on those things, it, they don't have to be a huge thing, but just something, something small, whatever it might be. You know, it, it's you don't need anyone else to to create happiness, to create joy. You can you can do that yourself. But once you start to uplift your energy, all your energy centers start to expand, and as your energy centers start to expand, by the way. There's seven chakras. I'll just let you know quickly what they are. There's basically the crown, which is right at the top of the head. There's a third eye, which is just between the eyebrows. You've got the throat, which is where the throat is. You've got the heart center, which is just near the sternum. You've got the solar plexus, the sacrum, and then the base. Yep. So um, so these are your, your someone, some people say there's eight, nine, ten. There is a number, of, but, but the ones that I know very clearly and have felt before and have worked be- with before are these seven but as you start to inject high vibration into your um into your your emotional being your mental being whether it's reading a cool book whether it's you know just going out putting your feet on the earth whether it's dancing around like a lunatic um which is i I don't know if you've you've had a look at cat john but she's got this epic thing called zero fucks tuesday which is so awesome which is basically about uplifting your energy and um and and so all these type of things that people do uh well not people do that you have the opportunity to do for yourself is amazing like it's just a choice really isn't it and that's where that's where we we bring it back and then you notice that what would happen when your energy is in a high vibration and you're uplifted then you will see how you affect other people you will see what an incredible effect your just your sense of being will have on others and others life and that's the cool thing is that you 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 would just don't know do we how much impact we can have on the planet because just by you being in a good room and in a good actually not good mood but you being in a in a vibration of the higher or or being uplifted just let's just assume or 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 let's just see what would actually happen if we went down this path that that uh, of you being let's say tomorrow you just inject yourself with a shit ton of high vibration or or even today even right now you know you you, you lift up your vibration it doesn't matter where you are you can always lift it up higher and you uplift your vibration by, you know, taking a big breath, by bah, banging your chest, whatever it might be. Knowing how to manage your energy, right? Whatever you fucking need to do, do it. Uplift your energy. And just imagine, just by you doing that, can you just imagine this, right? That you meet the next person, whoever that's going to be, and they're going to feel 
that your energy is high, that you're in a good place, and that's going to uplift their energy. They will go and share that with the next person. Maybe the next person after that will share it with a number of people. Like maybe she'll be going into a group and she will have the opportunity to, to shift 10 or 20 people's energy, you know, and then those 10 and 20 people go out and it's not of a midday yet. Then they go out, they shift, you know, 30, 40, 50, 100 people. That 100 people turns into a thousand, 10,000, fucking a million, a million to a billion. And before we know it, just because of the fact that we shifted our energy, like, no joke, just imagine this for a second. Just because we know, learn how to manage our energy and we shifted our energy into a higher, like right now, and I'm going to take it totally extreme that could lead to a world leader somehow that energy will get to a world leader by i don't know 3 p.m let's say and that world leader has the uh, has to make a decision whether he goes into battle or goes and fires rockets or whatever or not and just because you decided to shift your energy you might have just stopped world war three or you might have just stopped a bunch of people fucking getting killed you know that and 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 i'm taking it to the extreme right but then again this could be everything i'm saying could be right on the money and this is where our opportunity lies where we where we take into consideration of one how many people are on the planet which is almost eight billion and if we take responsibility for our energy, it almost brings everyone into it. You take responsibility for the whole entire world. And there's some like spiritual leaders that I've heard them say, and, and you know, I reckon it's it's on the money. They say that even if you see, like if you open up the news and you see that there's a, a, a massive famine going on in Africa and people are dying and people are dying of hunger and disease and whatever else, that that is your responsibility. That the fact that that is happening is because of something within you that you haven't shifted yet. And that's a big call. But you know what? I reckon there is definitely a level where where I go, that's not bullshit. Like I, I feel that to be that 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 could be true i'm not i'm not saying it is but i'm saying that that could be true i definitely feel when um i can't remember who it was that said this it might have been uh, wasn't it i don't think it was dalai lama it was one of those type of people my i can't remember who it was but anyway I, i was just like you know what this this guy's got a point and um and so there is there's this level of of responsibility we need to take guys and uh and and when we can properly manage our energy when we look at the small the p of a or not even a p a speck of who we are on this planet but then we look at the ability of what it can mean to shift our energy and the impact that that can have then our opportunity in life can very quickly go grow from that speck to being a incredible um incredible uh what's the word uh, uh, oh so annoying when i don't get the word like an incredible advocate that's it a, an incredible advocate for how the the world our planet our globe moves forward and that's cool like imagine that imagine if you knew that just your energy is going to impact the whole entire planet that's pretty cool i reckon like what a level of ownership that would be and how would you go out into the world then, knowing that every single soul, every single person, every single situation that you come across, you're going to meet that with a, a, a high vibration. So even before going into any conversation, before going into any situation, you make a choice and you go, how's my energy going? And the only way to really manage your energy is by injecting it with a high vibration. As soon as you get up into the higher, it's set. All the cool shit's going to happen all the magic will unfold, all the things that you need to know of how things will be, they go out the window and you start to experience what you're supposed to experience. 
things will just move through and you'll realize that your purpose on this planet is way bigger than what you ever imagined. It's got nothing to do with all those little goals and little lists and whatever else that you have. It's it's way bigger than that. It's way bigger than that. So this podcast, this episode, I'm asking you to look in your own backyard, which is your energy. And I'm asking you to really have a look at your energy and, and what's going on there. And I'm asking you to really take ownership over it. And once you do, things will really shift. You will notice people, situations and everything shifting around you. Thank you so much for listening to me on this uh, beautiful Monday, which is the 16th of May. And uh, and guys, I'd love, uh, yeah, please leave a review. You know, like I'd, I'd love it. It makes me happy. I'm like, yay, people leaving reviews. That's so cool. So if you could leave a review, um, even share this podcast if you uh, if you enjoyed it. Um, and, um, and, and yeah, share the, the BS machine love with as many people as you can. And it just helps to, to keep this moving, keep this going. And, uh, actually, you know what, whether you do or not is irrelevant. I'm lying as in, I'm, it is, it's actually irrelevant because whether you share it or not share, it, I'm still going to do these because I fucking love them. Um, but at the same point, I'm, I'm really enjoying the listens, uh, going up each week it makes me um it makes me happy that people listen to this shit because it's not shit it's wisdom isn't it and as i learn you learn and my wish is that for you to spread as much love as much high vibr- high vibration as you possibly can because i know that um we're all here for for an epic uh experience of life and um and i want you to have that because i fucking love you all right i'll see you guys later